One, during all the years that I've been in WFG, I've seen the people who make it and then the people who don't. And I've seen the characteristics of the people who make it and basically what they stand for and what they do. And there's a few things associated with someone making it big in business. And let me recommend to you what I see over all these years that I've been to conventions and I've been to golf bowls and I have meetings and momentum on days and BPMs. And I was trained by, in my opinion, one of the best people ever to exist in financial services. If someone ever held a license, I believe I was trained by one of the best people ever. His name is Ed Marlet. So I'm forever grateful that I was invited to a BPM where that first meeting I shook hands with Ed Marlet and forever changed my life. So I'm just, I, I can't tell you how my family has been blessed because someone dared to give me a phone call and invite me to this BPM. And I went to that BPM and shook hands with that one person who molded me and shaped me and created who I am today. I, done, I did a lot of the work, but I had direction, I had guidance, I had the faith, I had the push, uh, chewed me out, corrected me, all sorts of stuff, but I hung in there. So let me recommend one thing for you. As I see the landscape of business and the people in WLG, primarily the ones who make it, the winners are totally connected and totally committed to this one thing. They understand the law of large numbers. So if you're taking notes, you need to write that down. Mental notes, you need to... Lock that in. The law of large numbers. Do you understand that the business of business means you need lots of people? You need volume. The word here is called volume. That means you need to have lots of conversations, tens of thousands of conversations during the course of your career. You need to make hundreds upon hundreds of invitations, hundreds of phone calls, hundreds of guests, hundreds of KTPs. So volume. The problem with most people is you talk to a few people and then you put too much stock in the results of those few people and if it doesn't go the way you want it, then you think this doesn't work. You're supposed to talk to a lot of people and with volume, that's how you get your results. So here and I was just really doing my numbers. You know I'm coming up on my 6,000 KTPs that I've been on. This dude right here has sat across 6,000 KTPs. How many have you done? Some of you guys in here, you still, you've been with us two or three, four months. You've not even done your 10 KTPs. You, really, you recognize how much work you have to do? There are so many KTPs you've got to go to. There are so many people that you've got to meet. You're going to understand human nature. I bet you I have a master's degree, maybe even a PhD in people. I understand personalities. I understand who makes the decision. I understand when you walk into a home, who's broke, who's not, who makes the decision, where they think, why they're poor, why they're rich, why they're in between. We get all that. But you've got to make the commitment that you've got to play the law of large numbers. There's lots of appointments. A lot of appointments. So you need to, every day, here's the thing. If you're not going on 10 KTPs, you call yourself a business person and you don't have 10 prospects to sit down with you face to face every single week, you're not going to be a very prosperous business person. You take a look at all the leaders, all the people who make hundreds of thousands of dollars, I'll assure you that the one thing they have going for them, they play the law of large numbers. Even me, I can close just about anybody. But to this day, even your regular Joe Ball tells me I want to think about it. And I go through all my objection handy. Yeah, of course you should think about it. You should do the whole thing. You go all the way and then still in line. You understand that? So no matter how powerful you get, no matter how well your speech is, no matter how much your conviction level, it doesn't matter how successful you become at one point in your life, you still got to play the law of large numbers. Though here's one thing I can tell you. The more appointments you go on, the more the words fall in line. The more you get confident with your ability to deliver a message, the more you know when to pull the trigger, when to ask for the check, which was a 20-minute appointment, which was a two-hour appointment. you got to expose yourself to appointment after appointment after appointment. Guillermo Haro and his family today live this American dream because I committed to the law of large numbers, I understood volume, and I just submitted to the work. You could not work me. I was going to go on more appointments. You may have better markets. You probably have people that have more money. You probably live on a richer side of town. But I was going to mock you up because I just have more appointments and more appointments and more appointments. I have my $700 a month clients and I have my $70 a month clients. The other day I caught myself in an appointment. I'm there talking to a family. It's like on a monthly basis, Mr. and Mrs. Client, how much can you comfortably set aside? And they say $50. And I thought to myself there for a minute, was like, what the F? 
<laughs> I've been doing this shit for 19 years, and I'm sitting across the kitchen table with a family that can do 50 bucks, but they do say they no family left behind. That's right. And there was a point in my life where my family could probably only do 50 bucks. Should we leave them behind? No. So no, so here's the deal. I don't obviously do it for 50 bucks a month. By the way, let's figure out the commission. 50 bucks a month times 12 months equals $600. I'm at 80% contract, so out of the $600, 80% contract is 480 bucks. And then it's split. And then it's split. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get half of that to the other agent right here, which never was it. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that I don't do it for the 200 and some bucks that I need. That's not the point here. See, the thing is, I'm a giver. So I'm going to give you my time. I'm going to invest in you the time that it took me to close the app so that you can see how I did it because I understand the value that this generates. It's people at a low level that can lead you to people at the highest levels. And you need to understand that. So we are here to help every possible family out there. We are not here just to help the rich or just the poor or just the in-between. You need to be diversified. You understand today, I can have a conversation with a guy who has a multi-million dollar business. And I can also have a conversation with someone who can just, is making $25,000. they are just grinding. They're just trying to get out of the hole. They drive Uber for a living. I'm trying to help everybody out there. So the name of the game is your heart has got to be about giving to people. But... You are selfish if you don't help enough of them. You have knowledge, you have a license, you have a product that can enrich the lives of that family, and yet, because you're a little lazy and a little selfish, you don't help enough people. Shame on you. 10 appointments a week is what I'm asking every single one of you guys to want. So you gotta be busy driving appointments. And now you make phone calls and you confirm with people and you gotta be strategic with your appointments. You don't have one appointment in West Los Angeles and you got your next appointment in Fontana. That don't work either. We do live in Southern California, but hey, I have an appointment in Fontana and another one right there in Rancho and another one right there in Miraloma, and we're good. I can do all those right there. So you be strategic with your appointments. Or the smarter thing is have your people bring the clients to the office. That way you just sit in your chair and you can just roll appointments. Kind of like a dentist. A dentist doesn't go to you. You go to him. An attorney doesn't go to you. He comes to you. Or you go to him. So you can also do that as well. Find your way, but the name of the game is you need volume. He or she who understands the law of large numbers and does it and works at it and creates this volume of people to the point where sometimes my assistant and I had a guy go over with me and it was like, you know, 37 apps in the pipe. He said, well, remember this client? like, I don't remember. There's just so many of them. So then I study the file a little bit and I go back and connect. I take copies of every single one of my client's driver's license. I get on that. All of you guys should have the, the app on your phone called Cam Scanner. You should just go to the Apple Store and buy your app right there. You make a copy just for compliance. You should make a copy of all the driver's license. Take notes. Who's a, who led you to the appointment? As much information as you can get from the client. And you start getting really good at what works. And then you start getting this little internal intuitive knowledge. Who's going to buy the policy and keep it? And who's going to buy the policy and cancel? Then you're starting to get your volume up. You need to get an assistant. Invest in your business. That's one thing. I can't do this by myself. I'm not going to call Transamerica and go do 10 appointments either. So I'm going, to, I'm going to be good at what I do, which is presenting the product to the family, and then my assistants will take over, my wife takes over. I bring the business and they keep me in business. I run a business. Your job is to run a business that makes, that gushes out hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month by you creating this kind of volume setting and also building a team of people that are copying and duplicating the exact model that we have here. You guys all with me on that? Yes. How many appointments a week? Ten. That means you go on 10, not just book 10. Uh -uh. We got to book like 16, 18 of them to go on 10. I hope you're smart that way because we do have a lot of corn flakes in the box. It's about society. People will cancel. People will change their mind. People all of a sudden have emergencies. Something came up. The freeway, traffic, their tummy hurts. They all get their homework. There's plenty of excuses out there. So you need to book so many appointments to go on so many appointments of which so many are going to close. So you book 15 appointments, you go on 10, 5 close. That's those are the numbers. Understand the numbers, accept the numbers, and run the numbers. Now, you understand it's easy to quit. I hope you're not looking for easy. None of this is easy. It's simple, but it requires work, continuous work, dedicated work. Over and over, you got to continue to commit to this right here. I recommit to WG every single day.
<laughs> Wake up in the morning and says, man, I'm a, I, I told you I'd be here, and I am here. I'm committed to making sure my teammates know that I'm a solid leader. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to fight to fight with you. I'm in the hunt. More fired up today about WFG than I ever have, and I've been doing this for 19 years. The degree of commitment that I have in this company is unwavering. I'll have my fun, don't get me wrong, but I'm going to have a blast doing WFG. My fun comes from watching my teammates win. If you help enough people get what they want, sure enough, you'll get what you want. Y'all with me? Yeah. Team Conquer, we need to go to the top. We are hungry to go to the top. We need to be the number one team in this entire company. All of us collectively here, if all of us step up our game, I think we can do that. But we all need to unify. We need to come together. We need to outwork people. We need to show up in masses. Coming up is Wealthful. Wealthful ticket prices are going to go up. So before they go up, you get your Wealthful tickets. And we need to start to see ourselves as a dominant team in this organization. We're, we need to expand. We need more offices. We need more leaders. We need more licensed agents. We need more of you to have a ring. Ladies, you know how you're always asking for a ring? Here you go. Go get one. Go get a freaking ring. Y'all with me? Let's go to the top. I'll see you guys at the top. Thank you. Everyone.